Hi, in this video, we discuss how to score from physical chemistry part in CSAR, NET, OR, GATE, SET, JL, DL, IIT chemistry. We know that R, if one is going to appear for the chemistry exam, he must come across through the physical part also. Okay, right, and uh, so many aspirants are afraid of physical chemistry because it involves the mathematical basics okay to score more in physical chemistry part of the particular chemistry exam one must have the logic and mathematical basics then only one can get the good score from phys physical chemistry part and which can influence the result of that particular chemistry exam that may be CSAR, GATE, SET, JL, TL, or IITs. Okay, right. And uh, so many aspirants or the so many students just feel the physical chemistry part is very difficult. Okay, so to change that feeling or change that opinion, one must have the mathematical basics okay right so here in this video what are the basic mathematics which are very essential in physical part okay so we can just see those so the first one logarithm okay so logarithm is very very important not only in the, not only in the maths it is also useful or essential in physical chemistry to solve many of the problems in physical chemistry part okay right and next one trigonometry so trigonometry is also involving in the physical chemistry part and without trigonometry functions we cannot solve so many topics of the physical chemistry okay so just please try to concentrate on this logarithms, trigonometries, part of the math, that means uh, from mathematical basics. Okay, please concentrate on this. And uh, next one, integration. Okay, so this is also the very important topic and which is uh, must in quantum physics. And you know, the famous and the great, the popular physicist and that scientist that is Albert Einstein said that it is a don't afraid about quantum chemistry to be copied or to change that quantum chemistry because it is very difficult to understand so that is his opinion so that that was same or that is same for uh, so many uh, students or aspirants till now to change it one must have the logic or the logic analysis and also the mathematical basics then only one can get through the quantum mechanics or quantum mechanical part of the chemi physical chemistry next differentiation another very important uh, mathematical basic which is very essential in physical chemistry part. I next one units conversion. So many have the concept on particular given problems from the physical chemistry part and they know the formulas, but they can't they can't get the accurate answer because during the calculations by using the formulas we must need to convert the units which involves in physical chemistry part in so many topics that's why we need to concentrate on the units conversion from one unit to another unit so if you able to convert those units according to the given problem then you can solve the problem and you can get the accurate answer okay and uh, just concentrate on all, uh, some other essentialities like uh, mathematic 
identities which can be very useful are applicable in physical chemistry part and if you concentrate all this logarithms trigonometry functions differentiations integrations and unit conversions and some of mathematical identities and just uh, concentrate on all of them and if you do that you can solve and you can get good score from physical chemistry part still if you are a non math student or aspirant i hope it will help you thank you